The Abuja Nimasa office is commissioned in honor of Otumba Olakunle Folare, a maritime icon who contributed immensely to the growth of Nigeria's maritime sector. The Massa Abuja Zona office, Christian Otumba Olakunle Folare House, to the glory of God and for the benefits of all Nigerians. It is a five-story building comprising the control room, elevators, offices, among other facilities. The Minister of Transportation, Muazu Sambo, while commissioning the edifice, said the Abuja Zonal Office oversees the operations of Nimasa's local just safety base, thereby playing a pivotal role in delivering the agency's regulatory responsibilities on safety matters in the nation's inland waterways, hence the need to meet all the essential workforce requirements of the Nimasa staff. But I assure you that the acquisition of this office is not to fulfill another bureaucratic justification, but due to the responsibilities and functions that the zonal office plays in discharging Nimasa's mandate. The Abuja Zonal Office serves as the nexus point between the NIMASA and the Federal Ministry of Transportation, the National Assembly, and all other relevant MDAs, as well as critical stakeholders like the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Armed Forces of Nigeria, and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, amongst others. The Abuja Zonal Office further oversees the operations of the NIMASA local just safety base, thereby playing a pivotal role in delivering the agency's regulatory responsibilities on safety matters in our inland waterways. Director General of NIMASA, Bashir Jamu, on his part said the agency is committed towards providing a favorable working environment that matches international standards and said a conducive working environment will engender performance of the agency's staff. If we train our staff internationally, we must provide them with a working environment that matches with those international standards. This edifice reflects my management's commitment to providing a world-class working environment in addition to the recently reviewed and improved conditions of service for all employees. With this investment, we have taken things up a touch notch by providing support, infrastructure, environment, regarding safety, security. We practice what we preach and we do what we said. Others at the commissioning speak on the need for a world-class environment that is safe and secured for quality service delivery that will boost staff productivity. I want to admonish the staff of Nimasa to make good use of this building. You have a world-class facility here. You heard the details railed out by the DG. And so we don't expect anything less from you than efficient and productive service to Federal Ministry of Transportation first, and then to Nigerians in general. And I'd like to say to the staff here, and of course with the beneficiaries of this uh, um, office, that this saying that to whom much is given, much is expected. I do expect more commitment from the staff of NIMASA, and of course that's going to show in your output. You have good, um, uh, you have good um, environment to work in, which of course impacts on people's output. So you have a wonderful office, you have a wonderful environment, you have a wonderful work package. The Abuja Zonal Office plays a pivotal role in delivering the agency's regulatory responsibilities on safety matters. It will also serve as a centerpiece of government relations on matters with bilateral and multilateral implications on international trade and cooperation. Phoebe Kure in Abuja.
Liberty News.